I'm laughing, YouTube. Rival Gaming here. <laughs> What's going on everyone, thanks for checking out this Borderlands 3 experiment. In the previous one, we decided to see what all we would get from spending a thousand iridium on Moxie's slot machine. And, well, in my case, I didn't get much. But other people were commenting saying they got loads from spending their iridium. So, yeah, I guess I was just unlucky. In this experiment, we're going to be seeing what all we get from turning in a hundred ludograms to Crazy Earl. Actually, a little over 100 ludograms. Which, by the way, this is a specific drop that you get from Dinklebot, which all of this is a huge reference to Destiny, in case you don't know. The ludogram is supposed to be an engram, and Dinklebot is supposed to be referencing the ghost. You can actually hear some voice dialogue from him. Damage response not found. That's smart! Never a ghost. And when you take out Dinklebot, it works just like how Destiny would. In Destiny, an enemy can drop an engram. Well, when you take out Dinklebot in Borderlands, it drops a ludogram. And by the way, how you get to the Dinklebot to be able to get a ludogram for yourself is by heading to Promethea and then to Skywell 27. Now from here, I'll go ahead and show you where Dinklebot is exactly located at. So you can go check this out for yourself. Which, by the way, yes, this is a reference to Destiny, but this is also a reference to Peter Dinklage. He was the voice actor for the ghost in the very beginning of Destiny 1. Eventually, he got swapped out for Nolan North because players, a lot of players, thought his voice dialogue was dull and boring. So he eventually got swapped out in the future for, once again, Nolan North. You may be familiar with Peter Dinklage as the guy that plays Tyrion on Game of Thrones. Yeah. That's him. But uh, yeah, that's how this whole Dinklebot came to be. That was a nickname for the ghost way back in the day on Destiny 1 because Peter Dinklage voice act the ghost. But yeah, it can spawn actually right back here where this dump truck is at. It typically spawns right in front of it. At the moment, it did not spawn in, unfortunately. Sometimes, though, it can spawn here. To show you a map point of view of where it's located at on Skywell 27, Dinklebot can spawn right around here on the map and once again it drops a ludogram once you take it out and as you can see the description for the ludogram says take this amazing ludogram to crazy earl on sanctuary for a reward so that's what we're going to be doing except we're going to be turning in a little over a hundred of them this ought to be interesting let's see what all we get all right so i have 40 on me at the moment let's go ahead and turn in all of these see what we get just buy something already Oh, it just turned in all of them at once. Oh. Did it? Oh. Oh, wow. It's all garbage, too. It looks like. <laughs> oh, wow. Do you want me to try to do 40 with my luck artifact? How high is your luck? Get any better luck? Oh, well, I've got 2% luck and then my artifact that substantially increases luck, but it doesn't say by how much. Yeah, if you can, uh, uh, it definitely work. Clip you with your luck artifact. Is this kind of like a nod to Destiny in another way? Like how we typically get garbage for turning in our yeah, engrams? Yeah, the bad, yeah. Like how you used, yeah, how Rahul used to only yeah. give you yeah. garbage stuff. That is hilarious, man. Okay, I picked up all that I can. That was 40 ludograms right there. Not a single legendary? Right. I don't got all day, skag liquor. What? You been the bell hunter. If not, all right, let's see if it makes a difference with uh, your high luck. Lord. Last minute. All right. <laughs> nope. Jesus. <laughs> what the heck, dude? All right. Didn't make right, we got a difference. I can't believe luck didn't make a difference. No legendary drop yet out of 79 ludograms? Let me go ahead and pick up the rest of these that we got over here. Sheesh. Come on. We gotta at least get one legendary out of these. Okay, so 
I got 25 on me now. So how many did you just drop in there? I just dropped in 39 of them. You dropped in 40 the first time. Yep. And you got 25? So that's a total of 104 we'll have turned in. Oh, man. All right, here we go. Come on, legendary. Ooh! Oh, I got one! What's the exchange rate? It's yep, crap. I see it. <laughs> Did you just hear what Crazy Earl just said? I'll take your ludograms. Oh! Let's see. What's the exchange rate? It's yep, crap. I see it. Oh man, it is referencing Raul and how he would give us a lot of bad gear. Crazy Earl just straight said the exchange is crap. But we managed to get a legendary after a little over a hundred ludograms. Sheesh. I thought he just throws him out too. All day, but not for you. I can't even see it. Well, I'm gonna start picking up the whites. <laughs> Alright. I can't even see what the legendary is under all of that. So Oh, hold on. I accidentally got it here. Let me drop it. I you got it? Yeah, here yeah, I'm gonna drop it for you. I thought I just picked it up. Oh, one of us did. I don't know. Yeah, I got it. Dueling wagon wheels. Oh, you got it? So, yeah, it's called the wagon wheel. Oh, I, I think we both got it, because I have a dueling wagon wheel. So, can you only get this wagon wheel I from could... him? From the ludograms? Probably not. I don't know. I've seen different wagon wheels, but I don't know if it's the same. I mean, it kind of looks like last word, you know? Fanfire and everything, too. Oh, yeah. It could potentially be a last word reference, but... That would be cool if, like... All we got from him was like if you up in my grill, Destiny you legendary weapons. Yeah, I see a lot of anointed in here, but no legendary. Mm -hmm. Jeez, that was a lot of ludograms. Yeah. And only, well, technically two legendaries, but only this one legendary. Man, I was expecting a little more. Than, like, I was expecting four or five of them. All right, so the end results over us turning in a little over 100 ludograms to Crazy Earl. We only got one legendary. One! And this is it. As you can see, it's called the Wagon Wheel. And the flavor text for it reads, keep them doggies rolling. And overall, this isn't a bad pistol to get your hands on. It's a pretty solid legendary pistol, and it has some great accuracy and a pretty sweet animation when firing it from the hip. Like my buddy mentioned previously, it is kind of similar to The Last Word. I'm not exactly sure, though, if this is referencing The Last Word. It would be cool, though, that the legendaries that we do get from the Ludogram are referencing Destiny weapons in some kind of way. But I'm not too sure if this is a reference at all. Overall, though, the legendary pistol isn't too bad. I know you can get other legendaries from Crazy Earl by turning in ludograms, but as you all just saw, it's extremely rare to get one. At least for me and my buddy's experience, it was. It could be completely different for you. It's all about that RNG. But yeah, I guess that's our wrapping up this experiment, everyone. Hope you found this enjoyable. If you have a certain experiment idea for us to try out, feel free to comment it. Maybe there's a certain side mission that you can take two different routes and you want to see what happens when you take a specific route. I mean, I'm not exactly sure what your experiment could be, but if you want, feel free to comment it and eventually we may get to covering it. All the suggestions and ideas are greatly appreciated because it helps keep the series rolling. I'm out of here there, everyone. Thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening, and hopefully you found this one enjoyable. Until next time, peace.